Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions related to partial differentiation. Okay, let's look at sample question one. We are given the function f equals to x to the power 3 minus xy plus 2y plus 1. So the question asks us to find fx. So fx means we differentiate this function compared with x. So we need to look at all the terms with x only. So for x to the power 3, when we differentiate, the answer is 3. Bring out the 3 first. So we have 3x to the power 2. And then next for negative xy, so we differentiate x, the answer is 1. So 1 times negative y, the answer is negative y. Okay, so the rest uh, doesn't have x, so we ignore it. Okay, so that's the answer for part 1. Now for part 2, we are asked to find fyx, meaning that we have to differentiate the function compared with y first, and then followed by x. So when we differentiate the function, all right, this function compared with y, so we have to look out for the terms with y. Here, there's no y, so we ignore it. So for negative xy, we look at y. So 1y, differentiate 1y, the answer is 1, times negative x, the answer is negative x, okay? So when we differentiate 2y, the answer is 2. And the rest don't have uh, x, so we uh, don't have y, we ignore it, okay? So that is the answer for fy. So we are asked to find the answer for fyx, meaning that from here, we have to differentiate one more time, but this time compare with x. So when we compare with x from here, so negative x, the answer is negative 1, all right? Negative 1x will give us negative 1. The 2 here doesn't have x, so we ignore it. So the answer for fyx is negative 1, okay? For sample question 2, we are given the function f equals to xy plus 2y plus x square y. We are asked to find the partial differentiation of x, uh, f compared with y and x. That means we will differentiate compared with y and then followed by x. Okay? So let's start with the function f first. So when we differentiate compared with y, look at all the terms with y. So here xy, when we differentiate xy, so the answer is x, all right? Differentiate 2y, the answer is 2. When we differentiate x square y, so y will give us 1. So 1 times x square is x square, all right? So from here, if we want to find uh, fyx, that means we start from fy, differentiate it, compare with x this time. So differentiate 1x, the answer is 1. And here, there's no x, ignore it. Differentiate x squared, the answer is 2x. So that's the answer, okay? In sample question 3, we are given the function f equals to 4x to the power 3 minus 9xy plus y. So we are asked to find f2, negative 1. So what we do is we substitute x with 2, substitute y with negative 1 into the function. So 4x replaced with 2 to the power 3 minus 9, x is 2, and then y is negative 1, plus y substitute with negative 1. Okay, we simplify. 2 to the power 3 is 8, 8 times 4 is 32, plus negative 9 times 2 is negative 18 times negative 1, the answer is positive 18. And then here positive times negative 1, we will have negative 1. So 32 plus 18, the answer is 40 minus 1, will give us 39. So that's part A. Now in part B, we are asked to differentiate the function compared with y. Okay, so start with the function, differentiate, compare with y, so look at y only. Here there's no y, we ignore it. Differentiate, uh, compare with y here, so negative 9x. Eh? Y, we differentiate y, we, 1y will give us 1, 1 times negative 9x, the answer is negative 9x. And then differentiate 1y, the answer is 1. Alright? Okay, part C. We are asked to find the uh, answer for fxy, meaning we have to start with fx, so we differentiate, compare with x. So 4x to the power 3, 3 times 4 equals 12, x power minus 1 is 2, minus, 
so 9xy when we differentiate compare with x so this is 1x differentiate 1x the answer is 1 times negative 9y the answer is negative 9y and here there's no x we ignore it so from here uh, we can now differentiate fx compared with y so look at this uh, function just uh, look look out for uh, the terms with y so here there's no y we ignore it so differentiate negative 9y the answer is negative 9 okay in part d uh, we start off with the function f y which we already found from part b okay negative 9x plus 1 and then from here we differentiate compare with x in order to find f y x so when we differentiate negative 9x compared with x we will get negative 9 all right here there's no x we ignore it okay so from here we are asked to find the value of f y x and then substitute with 0 comma 1 so what we do is we substitute into this function now since there's no x and y which means this is a constant negative 9 so we just copy the answer again negative 9 okay